Okay, let's take a look at finding the sum of x squared. Uh, so we got our data values uh, squared. We want to find the sum of them. So let's put some va data values in here. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Did that earlier, where the right aligned some and left aligned uh, others. That's interesting. I don't like that, so let me highlight those. and Not that it matters, and do left align. Okay, so those are X values. And you could even, if I click this uh, row here and highlight it, if I right click on it, you can see insert one above. I could even label that. That's my X's. Now, here I'm going to type X squared. That's just a um, descriptive. It has nothing to do with what's actually. Um, the column. It's just whatever I want to give a title to. Now I'm going to square this. So what I do is I do equals A2 times A2. 1 times 1. That's uh, that's that number squared. And you see I have to have the equals there and the asterisk is your multiplication. So I'll take 1 times 1 which gives us 1. Now I could type that down here for all the formulas. Or, you see here, if I have B2 selected, in the bottom right hand corner is a blue square. If I put my mouse over, it becomes a black uh, plus. And then if I click and hold down the left mouse button and drag it down, it will fill that formula down, adjusting it for each particular row. So you see it's down here, 10, uh, I got 10 times 10, which is 100. Okay, so those are our X squareds. Now let's say I want to uh, sum those now. So again, I can give it some kind of um, sum of x squared, some kind of title there. <laughs> that didn't look right, but uh, you know what I mean. And I'm going to type equals sum, beginning parentheses, then b2 colon b11. And again, notice how it puts a little rectangle around it so you can see what it's going to add together. So it's going to add those. And then press enter, and that gives us 385. Uh, so that's, that's how to get the sum of uh, data values squared.